One of the most finest Vision Gran Turismo cars is definitely made by Chaparral and it's finally coming in to be able to race in GT Sport for this custom race. So starting right now, I'll be able to start using for the Chaparral Chevrolet Chaparral 2X Vision Gran Turismo with a phantom black color. So maybe the ghost white color is definitely quite the original like any other Chaparral race cars like the 2J and the 2D race car. So Looks like the letter X is definitely perfectly marked for a Vision Gran Turismo vehicle. Was well, definitely able to be drives on hands, but not the steering wheel boards. So this is definitely a remarkable vehicle that could probably quite an excellent vehicle that could also to drive it in for. So maybe let's check on the performance. So the max horsepower is 905, max torque 587.4. Weight pound 992 and the drivetrain, well, it's definitely going to be unknown to be able to find out which drivetrain is going to be. So, it also has a single transmission gear because this is definitely appears from Gran Turismo 6 because this drives pretty well for it because the max speed is perfectly maxed on 10. And this is going to be excellent to be able to get ready for a one make race. Just only for two cars and that's it because this is going to be excellent to be prepared for this ordinary race to get started. So maybe let's just go and begin and have this for an ordinary race to be starting in in Circuit de la Sarda. But this is definitely going to be a pretty good race for only two Chaparral 2X will be able to get started for. So luckily this is going to be able to have a Group X car and this is going to be excellent for it. So maybe this is going to be able to have a good starting grid position will be able to go for it. So besides more of them, so this will be able to have two. So this will might be coming handy to be able to get started for. So maybe let's just have this to be on 128 foot. And this is going to be able to have a good rolling start to be prepared for. So luckily everything's good. And then let's get ready for one-on-one -on -one race to get started so looks like two colors is definitely quite excellent to be able to get started for it so the turbine engine is definitely quite very efficient to be able to have it in for it but take a good look at this engine sound it starts revving up and then pops up for only seconds to be able to come in and get ready to go so maybe this is might be one of the fine Vision Gran Turismo cars can also to be steered on hands because this is going to be excellent to be able to get ready for one on one one make race to be able to get started so here we go and let's get everything go for it okay looks like race one is definitely going in for it and the 2x is definitely takes a little bit of head start to be in for it so this is going to be able to have a one big advantage to be able to get a little bit uncontrollable stability to be able to keep it on hold for it. So that will be able to slide it in nice and carefully for it. So it is definitely like gliding that might be able to be resembling in a glide suit that might be able to fly around to be controlled for. So it may take a lot of capability to be able to handle it. But maybe you just really watch the, the video featuring Chaparral that makes the Vision Gran Turismo car was definitely built it on hand to be able to steer for. So take a good look at this interior. Well, it doesn't have steering wheels, but it is also be used to be able to control on hand because this is going to be able to have a one smooth capable turn to be able to go directly for it. It takes a lot of practice to be able to use the Chaparral 2X to also provide a driving technique to be able to go for it. So this is going to be quite very excellent for this view. So they also shows on the g force screen to be able to show for it. So maybe this will be able to have a good look to be able to take a good handling to be able to look at it. So it also shows on the number of the mileage that it definitely goes for it. Now it's definitely going to be vibrating so Maybe this will get used to it. But also, this car is an electric vehicle because this is definitely able to drive fast for it. 
now it looks like this is going to be able to go in and go fast for it. So, at, I'm just, just taking a little break from Route X race. So, this is going to be able to have to be back on the ordinary track to be able to go for a little corner challenge and to be prepared. So, looks like this is going to be able to have one segment to be able to be putting on for. So, take a good look on the rear view besides the rear mirror view, so it also has rear camera view on it because this is going to be able to show many other cars to be able to come in for it. So, looks like this is going to be able to get prepared for it because this is going to get a little bit bumpy ride on the fourth corner. Okay, so this is going to be able to take a lot of breaking points to be able to master in the Chaparral QX on the lawn be experienced challenging for it. So this is definitely able to have everything perform cornering in Grand Turismo 6. This is going to be able to have the skills to be able to master it. Okay, stay steady on the fourth chicane. That might be able to get a little bit more technique for it. So they also to look around to be able to use it for it because this is definitely able to have a good standing spot to be able to use it in for it. So, the 2X doesn't have the speeder in it, well, it also to be able to get a good bounce position, like a slide shoot for it. Well, I know that this is going to be able to have a little difficult technique to master it. So, this is going to be able to have to do a lot of more skills to be able to master the 2X in Le Mans. It's quite challenging, this is going to be able to take a lot of techniques to be able to master it for it. By only one gear, it also like having yourself to be flying on the air to be able to use the wingsuit for it. But I kind of get that this is definitely with semblance to a, a wingsuit that also flies. Be like a flying squirrel. Okay, just kind of get a little bit careful. Just want to have to make sure that this is going to be doing it right on this long straight board. So, looks like the top speed range is going to be at 250 miles per hour. So, this is going to be excellent top speed. And this will be able to have some air brakes to be able to get pry in for it. So, this will have to keep focusing on for it. Alright, keep it up. Well, sounds like popping up for it because it looks like the, the laser engine is definitely able to give a little boosting up for it. So take a good look at the laser jet is definitely showing some of the white flashing in many times for it. So that's where it's definitely driving in for. But this is definitely very technical to be able to take a little air brake to be able to have a little control to be able to glide it in for. It. But most other experts who try the Chaparral 2X Vision GT, it's definitely going pro at it. And I know that maybe beginners could be able to have a lot of basics to work on for, because this is going to have to take some experience to be able to go work in for it. Okay, looks like the Gulf White 2X is definitely coming in for it, because looks like this is going to be able to be nice and slow to be able to keep it up for it. Alright, excellent. Just gonna have to keep a little bit nice and slow because, well, I hope this is gonna be able to have a little test to be able to try the Chaparral 2X for it. I had a good time to be able to use this 2X, but it also has a like, ghost white in it because since the seasonal event, because this is definitely quite much enjoyable back in the day before I became Hyperion Blue GT and, oh man! Almost forgot it's just definitely taking the little final stretch. So, looks like this is a pretty good race finish, but almost, but it also might need to have a lot of work to be able to get prepared to be able to do it right for it. So, maybe the first test is finally complete. So, looks like it's time to be prepared for the phase two for this test. So, luckily, no clean race bonus, just having some regular earnings to be able to get stacked up for. 
Now, luckily, well, it doesn't show my character to be able to have a racing gear outfit, but it also includes with a default racing gear outfit as well. So maybe this is definitely giving a little bit differences to be surprised for. Well, anyway, that was pretty good for race one for it, but no need to change courses because this is definitely going to be able to have Le Mans track for two Chaparral 2X to be able to get ready for the race. Now, maybe let's check for some performance stats to be able to check it in for. So weight reduction can also enable to be able to increase the weight, but also decreases the acceleration, braking, cornering, and stability. So looks like this is going to be quite difficult to be able to take a good look for it. So, well, nothing else to be tuned up for it because only has the weight reduction to be needed as well. So possibly that the brake balance would be okay. And the tires is definitely used with racing super soft tires will be able to be included for. So looks like this is going to be able to have phase two to be able to get ready for. So on to round two to have a nice clean race to get started. Well, I know I'm just really like to be able to do a little R&D race run for it. So let's go for it. But this time, this is going to be able to have a clean race by now because this is going to give a lot of technique to master it. Okay, almost good for that second turn. Just going to give a little bit of slide downhill for it. Now, looks like this is going to get a lot of chances. Okay, maybe this will have to retry. But I hope this has got to do it. So it doesn't need to change the TCS when racing for it. So looks like this is going to be able to have a little bit risk now or never for it. Now looks like time to go attempt number two to be able to go again for it. But this time this has got to do it right to be able to do perfectly. Moment to be able to have a one skill set to be able to get started for. Okay, a few other cones went flying up on mid-air for it. And laser turbines to pull and give them speed. Now, looks like this is going to be excellent to be able to have the gold flight to be able to take on the lead for. Now, looks like it's time to be able to go in for the next part to be able to get prepared. Have a little sweet air break to be able to get a nice touch move on because this is going to be able to have a one with challenge to be able to have some trap to be able to get on for so maybe this will be possible to be able to use the hood cam to be able to give a little bit guiding to be able to speed up higher for it so this may take a lot of drafts to be able to get in for all right just watch out try not to hit the y2x and this is going to be quite possible need for Okay, almost there. Just make one grab and then reach on to the overtake. So the Phantom black, black is definitely a number nine color. And also the Ghost White is definitely a number 66, which definitely represents the original Chaparral race car from the 1960s. Well, 1960s did pretty well for having a good race. We're using the 2D and 2J and any other Chaparral race cars was definitely made by any other Chaparral workers who built this car for it. So maybe this is going to be excellent to be able to use the 2X for it. Because I'm trying to think that they're making a fine Vision Grand Trismal car for it. Well, I kind of guess that this is definitely quite giving the one miracle Chaparral vehicle is definitely thanks to Jim Hall and the other Chaparral workers who definitely built this car for Gran Turismo. So this is definitely a one fine experiment car that also uses to control on hand besides the steering wheel. So this is definitely quite an excellent for a flying vehicle. It could be quite excellent to be able to have a whole steering turn to be able to have a full well stability. But it takes practice. 
but most QX favors really want to master it to be able to have a one perfect clean race without mistake. So, moving on over to the final lap, and this time, this is going to have to take a lot of more technique without any mistakes to be able to get in for. Concentration means having a lot of focus to be able to have a nice slow steering effect. Okay, just going to have to take a lot of more maintaining well control for it. There you go. Push that wingsuit car in and get everything straightened up on the speed. There you go, keep it up. That might be able to get a good run on. So, looks like the Ghost White 2X is definitely doing okay for it. So, this is going to be excellent to be able to speed up higher for it. So, maybe that could be quite so if this is going to be able to have a one high speed race on Route well, X later on for it. Well, maybe it takes a lot of work because that will be able to have a lot of things to do to be able to get on for it. So, it also takes patience by now. So this is going to be able to have a little bit excellent to be able to try out all these vehicles and speed reports. Could be able to get everything improved and also might need some handling division will get everything goes on for. So luckily the hazard lights might be functional for you by using the touch pad. But also the headlights is that well, but it is definitely giving a good use for it. Alright, taking a little bit slow speed step on the Indianapolis section. Let's keep it up. Well, of course, the 90 degree angle could need a lot of improvement turns to go nice and slowly whenever you reach that 45 miles to take a turn. Okay, keep it up. Have a little bit smooth brake turn to get everything done and clear. So, this could be a really good futuristic Vision Gran Turismo car. So, the Chevrolet Chaparral 2X Vision Gran Turismo is definitely a future race car. Was definitely made until in the year 2025. So, looks like this is definitely six years until this will be able to step in for it. I get everything, have that final turn, bring that 2x into the finish line, and this is going to be excellent for race complete. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good for a one-on-one -on -one race at Le Mans, but this is going to be excellent to be able to have it in for it. So, I kind of say that Vision Gran Turismo cars until the year future is definitely quite very extraordinary for having a fine opportunity for it. So this is going to be able to have a mastering capability to be able to be prepared and race for the 2x and master it. It takes a lot of practice to be able to, to do a right corner to be able to be performed. So this is going to be quite excellent for having one of the Vision Gran Turismo cars in the future like this Dodge Tomahawk, the street version, the GTSR, and the X version. So, looks like that was a pretty good race for a one on one race with two Chaparral 2X, because this is definitely excellent. But this will be able to have practicing until this will be able to go for the next time trial, because this is going to be excellent to be able to have the 2X to drive on hands will give the steering capability to be able to master it. So, let's go for the daily workout complete. Only three days until Valentine's Day is coming.
All right, so looks like a no another Renault Sport Manganese RS. So looks like this is gonna be another one by the usual. So looks like this is gonna be able to take a good look on the mileage exchange until Valentine's Day is about to be coming. So maybe this will have to take one check and then this will be scheduled for it. All right, so everything's all checked and then tomorrow is February 12th. I hope this is gonna be quite excellent to be able to have all colors to be on pink. So Chaparral Chevrolet has definitely made a very fine Vision Grand Turismo with a 2X on it. So two colors for the 2X with black and white and this is going to be excellent for a Phantom Black with a number 6 on it. So looks like a good Vision Grand Turismo collaboration with Chevrolet and Chaparral because this is definitely a fine remarkable concept car was definitely raced to be in the future for it. So looks like this is an excellent to be able to have to have a single suit to be able to be putting on for. So this will be a, a fine portable helmet will be able to use it for it. So maybe this is going to be able to have an interior to be able to take a good look around for it. So the stance position will be able to be resembled as a as a glide suit. So this is going to be excellent car. So this will take practice to be able to get ready for. So this will be ready for the future for the Chevrolet Chaparral 2X. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race and I hope you enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one race. So thanks for watching. So be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube. And also don't forget to click the bell for some notification for uploads that you will keep the progress going on for. And also the links on the description down below if you really want to see more, if you're interested enough. I'll be continuing on for the next custom race on GT Sport, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing, stay cool, and take some practice. Thank you, and have a good day.